Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I wanted to talk about a question or uh, a subject that a lot of people ask me about and that's how to get into stores. Now as soon as you start making your candle making journey, uh, you start making them friends, family, everything like that, everybody wants to get into stores or basically put your candles out there so everybody can see them. Now for this one it's going to be a very entry level uh, process on how to get into stores. Getting into a much larger store such as like a Walmart or a Target uh, is a whole different beast uh, that we can get into in another video. I'll cover it a little bit here but we're mainly talking about getting into small shops, uh, stores, uh, and even some bigger ones too. It, it depends on what the store is and kind of how they uh, take on new orders. So for me, when I was first starting out, the easiest thing to do was sell candles to family, friends, coworkers, taking them in like that. Putting them online is extremely easy. Uh, you can do Instagram, Etsy, Facebook, your own website. Uh, there's a lot of different areas that you can get a lot of sales, but ultimately people want to be in stores so that when you go in there, you can see your stuff, people can see your stuff. And I know for me, when I first started out, I kind of had no idea how to do that. So I basically went through the same process. I started to look online on how to get into stores. Uh, you instantly see articles where it comes up and it talks about uh, a GS1 certification, which is the barcodes at the bottom of the any product that's out there. Uh, so if you're looking to get into some bigger stores, and this is what I ran into with mine, is I started to just walk into stores and ask them, how do you, basically how, to, how can I put my candles on your shelves? Uh, and of course I went to the big stores first. I went to some of the bigger supermarkets. They basically told me that you had to go through their kind of upper management. They have a department that handles all new products that come in. And that's where I found the GS1 certification and the barcodes. Uh, I'll leave a link for that. I'm gonna try to put it up right here. Uh, it's a website that's out there. And you basically just go on there, fill out the information. You have to purchase barcodes. Uh, but again, that's a whole nother beast to get into. And we're gonna talk about much more entry level ways to get into stores. And honestly enough, it's just walking in. Uh, there are a lot of different ways and a lot of different shops around here that you can just walk into and kind of talk to the owners and the people that work there and uh, just basically flat out ask them and basically just flat out ask them, do you guys sell candles or would you be interested in selling candles? Now this is definitely something I did in the beginning. Uh, for people that are introverts, it's a little bit more difficult to just kind of walk into a store and ask something so bold like that, but there are definitely ways around that. I know for me starting out, I really didn't know what to do, so I just started to go into local stores that were in my area that I knew sold candles uh, and I started looking at them and you start to realize that uh, a lot of places do sell local candles. Uh, one of the shops that's around here actually had two or three different candle makers on there and when looking on the labels it said made in Gig Harbor so I knew that they probably took other candle makers. So once I found a couple shops that actually stocked local candles I just asked if I could speak with the manager or whoever's running the place and if there wasn't a manager just talk to anybody there and ask them uh, are you guys open to carrying more candles or or what's your process for getting into your store to sell items and you're going to find there's usually two different ways to do it. One of the first stores that I signed up with, uh, we did everything on consignment. Uh, and consignment is, if you're not familiar with it, you basically take your candles in, you put them on the shelf, uh, and then you basically kind of give your candles to them and they sell them for you. And everything that they sell, they basically just give you a certain percentage back, which is the majority per percent, which is a majority percentage, of course. And you kind of work out that deal, whatever shop, uh, I think they wanted 25%. So basically every candle they sold, they kept 25% and then I got the rest of it. Uh, now consignment is a good deal in, in the beginning just because now consignment for me was an okay thing in the beginning. It's not something that I like to do now. Uh, it's one of those things. It was the first shop they said yes. So I just said, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, the thing that I run into and one of the biggest problems I have with consignment is you're kind of handing your candles over uh, to somebody that really doesn't have uh, the drive to sell them or the need to sell them. Uh, they're making 25%, so it's not that great of a commission on those. So uh, they really don't have they really don't have any skin in the game. So you could have candles just kind of sit on the shelf and they don't move. Uh, whereas if they purchase your candles, they're making a much bigger profit uh, and they actually have a need or a want to sell those because they make money on those. So that's probably the biggest lesson I learned from consignment. And don't get me wrong, consignment can be very good. There are a lot of shops out there that really push candles. They want to sell local stuff uh, and consignment can be very good. You can make a lot of money with it. They can make good money with it. You just may have to find a few shops before you find one that actually is that good deal. Whereas the other option is to offer your candles wholesale and then of course 
they buy whatever they want to, they put them on their shelves, and of course they're gonna make money off of those candles, so they really have more of a need and a want to sell those candles and push them out and get more of a profit from those. So once I figured that one out, uh, I started to go to a lot of the other shops. I would basically just walk in and say, hi, my name is Jeff, I'm a local candle maker. I see that you guys sell candles, or would you be interested in selling candles? Uh, I usually try to bring in a box of them that shows a bunch of different scents, what the jars look like, and then if they're interested, of course, kind of go through, talk to them, find out if, uh, if they would be interested in selling candles and find out what they like. I think I've mentioned this in previous videos. I usually try to hand over a, uh, a sample candle. Uh, I try to bring smaller ones so that I'm not just giving out uh, a bunch of candles that are expensive to me in the long run. But that's basically it. There was really no more thought into it than that. Uh, literally just walking in, literally just walking in, talking to the manager and just striking up a conversation. Now you wanna be selective in what stores you walk into. Uh, you don't wanna walk into a shop that clearly has no business selling candles because it's it's gonna be a waste of your time. Uh, you may get surprised every once in a while, there may be a shop that you, you just don't think about it. I've got candles in an antique shop that I probably wouldn't have walked into uh, but they actually messaged me. They saw my local uh, postings and sent me a message and said, hey, we'd love to sell candles. Uh, and that's actually turned out to be a really good shop for me. A lot of people go in and out, they're looking at uh, antiques uh, and they have a candle burning in there so it smells really good. They actually do a lot of business with the candles. So definitely don't avoid all businesses, but the ones that, uh, like if you're walking into a technology shop or something like that, it's probably not the, even if it's a smaller technology shop, it's probably not gonna be a business that's gonna carry candles. But any of the smaller boutiques that do, I, just your normal stuff that you see candles in, clothing, jewelry, uh, kind of if they do a lot of local items, uh, handmade stuff, a lot of those places will sell candles. Another easy way to get into stores is to message people on Instagram. I've done this a lot. I'll go through, uh, search different hashtags, search for like home decor or boutique or something like that. Just And you can also go through and search your local area. So if you type in the hashtag or the city area, uh, like for me, it would be like Tacoma, Washington. Type in Tacoma, Washington or Seattle, Washington and just start scrolling through the hashtags and the, the, the top pictures that are in there and you're gonna see a lot of different you're gonna see a lot of different uh, stores boutiques or anything like that that probably would sell candles or they may even show candles and a lot of times uh, I'll go through and find those hashtags find a shop that looks like they would probably stock something uh, maybe an aesthetic or a style that kind of matches my candle and I'll go in there and just message uh, the owner of the profile and basically introduce myself the same way link to the profile that shows Stanley handcrafted uh, hello my name is Jeff uh, just going through your profile. I noticed that you do sell candles or or just flat out ask them, uh, would you be interested in selling candles? And more often than not, you're gonna find a lot of people are interested. Of course, if you're messaging the right profiles, uh, and uh, just like the stores, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're a shop or a boutique that looks like that they would have something like that. And a lot of times I've gotten good feedback or good responses back to where they say, of course you're gonna get the no, right, not right now, or no, we really don't sell candles. Uh, but a lot of times I've gotten, yes, we would absolutely love to sell candles. We've been looking for some, or uh, it's something that we thought about in the past, but never really reached out to see where they were. Uh, and then of course they'll ask for a wholesale pricing sheet, uh, scent list, stuff like that. And basically just get that conversation going. And of course, once you do that a couple times, it's much easier to walk into a store, ask them, or even DM or message people on their profiles and ask them. And I've seen this one come up quite a bit. A lot of people don't think it's professional to just message or email a company. I completely disagree with that one, especially in today's digital age. A lot of people handle business. Uh, I mean, there's million dollar deals going uh, going down in Instagram DMs. I mean, it's uh, it's not uncommon for somebody or two companies to just message back and forth. I mean, that is your storefront these days. So I don't think it's unprofessional at all. Obviously, if you can walk into a store, that definitely helps a little bit. They can get their hands on a physical product. But if you've got a profile that has everything you've got in there, shows your product in a nice way, a lot of people handle their business through Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. They don't mind being reached out to and talked to. And I found that a lot of people do not find that unprofessional at all. Like I said, in today's digital age, that is your new storefront. So how else are you gonna reach out to somebody? Now, of course, definitely pay attention to the profile. If you go into a profile, now if you go into their profile, you can definitely pay attention to their bio section and it may list a phone number or for business inquiries or anything like that. If they have a phone number or an email or anything like that, 
that, definitely take advantage and ask that way. Uh, but reaching into the messaging or the DMs or anything like that, I don't think is unprofessional at all. And it's a great way to get in contact with a bunch of big businesses. Now, some of the things that you're gonna run into with a lot of these stores, uh, that's why I say it's easier to walk into some of the smaller boutiques and everything like that, is just because they don't have a lot of the restrictions or they are operating on a smaller scale that they don't really care for, like I said, the GS1 certification. Now, some of the bigger stores, they want the GS1 certification, which is the barcodes on the bottom of any product. And the reason they want that is because they run it through their inventory system. And if you have your candles registered uh, with the GS1 certification, you're in the system so that you can take those candles to any store, they can scan it, and it instantly puts it into their inventory with no hassle. Now, if you just take your regular candles in uh, and you take 100 cinnamon candles or whatever it is, they have no way to track those. That's why they don't like that. But a smaller boutique, even if they did have 100 candles, they're operating uh, on a smaller inventory, so it's easier for them to track those. They can put them on a shelf, and a lot of stores really don't care that if you don't have that. I, the other thing that you're gonna run into with some, uh, like I said, I've run into many shops that don't ask for anything. Uh, I mean, don't ask for anything as far as like a license or a, like a city selling license or a business license or anything like that. You can definitely do a lot of shops without those things, uh, but as you start to go up, you will run, you will run into a couple shops uh, that are gonna request like a like business license or anything like that. So kind of as you move up the scale and you kind of make your business grow, you're gonna naturally get those things along the way. But honestly, that's pretty much it. A lot of these shops that I've gotten into, I have literally walked into or sent messages to. Now I do have a few shops that have emailed me. They'll email me or I get a ton of people commenting uh, on posts, uh, how, like where's wholesale information? Or again, like I said, through DMs, a lot of people will message me and say, hey, we would love to carry some candles can you email or call uh, or send over your list so that we can go through them but it's honestly not much more than just kind of putting yourself out there especially like I said if you want to be in a lot of local shops just start walking in ask to speak to the manager and like I said earlier introduce yourself hello my name is Jeff uh, I'm a local candle maker I would be I would love to know if you guys would be interested in selling candles and of course you're gonna get a yes or no answer right away no you're just gonna move right on to the next door if you get a yes you're just gonna go through and start to and they're just gonna start to ask you what do you charge for wholesale uh, what sense can you make how many can you bring in but it's honestly nothing more than that and like I said earlier the introvert to extrovert a lot of people have no issues going into local stores and I mentioned this in the work workshops that we do, uh, the DMs and the Instagram and messaging and stuff like that is kind of a blessing for uh, introverts. A lot of people don't like to walk into stores. That's where the DMs come in real handy for introverts. People, it's, it's not easy for a lot of people to just walk into a store and kind of put themselves out there like that. That's why I always recommend DMs if you don't want to do that. Just go through, start to find a shop, just send them a quick message. It doesn't have to be anything more than, hello, my name is so-and-so, here's my profile, I make candles, I would be... I'd love to know if you guys would be interested in selling candles. So that's pretty much it with this one. I hope this is at least a little bit helpful. I know there's a lot of different ways to go about this. Uh, a lot of people will probably have some suggestions down below in the comments. If you do have any suggestions or, or if I missed something, like I say in all my videos, if I glossed over something or missed something, please let me know in the comments down below. We'll try to do a follow-up video that goes into a little bit more detail. And I'm also gonna try to put a list of the hashtags in the video description down below of things that you can look out for. I know I just jumped into Instagram right here. I'm on my Instagram profile page. If I go to the search bar, and I'm just going over to the search, and I'm gonna type in boutique. Go over to the tag section. You can see that at the very top right there. Go over to the tag section, and it instantly comes up with a big list uh, and it starts out with PNW Boutiques, which I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so that's Pacific Northwest Boutiques. Uh, there's Boutique Shopping, Boutique, Boutique Style, Boutique Fashion, Boutique Clothing. If you go into any one of those, so uh, if I just went into Boutique Owner, that's another one right there. So hashtag Boutique Owner, and you're gonna go through and you're gonna find a few things and just jump over there, find a good post, and go through, see what kind of shop they are, see how big they are, see if you can go through their posts and see what they have. You're gonna find a lot of good things like that, or you're gonna find a lot of good boutiques that would probably sell candles. And that's exactly what I would do. It's what I've done in the past, and it's what I've done that works. And then find a shop that you like, and just hit the message and send them a quick message. But like I said, if I miss something, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to go through and update the video on a, or update for a future video. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down below. And if you do have any questions with this one, 
down. I have my email address down at the, in the video description below. Uh, shoot me over a message anytime uh, with uh, Facebook Messenger or even uh, email, Instagram message. Uh, I try to go through and answer a lot of those. They definitely get spread out between those. So if you don't get me on one, shoot a message. Like my email is probably the one where I get the most amount of messages and it's the easiest one for me to respond to. But like I said, I, I answer messages on Instagram and Facebook. So send it through anything if uh, you had a question on this video. And of course, jump over and follow any of the profiles that I have, uh, Instagram, Facebook. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. Thank you.